ladies here from the family haven and um, it will be £200 check they will be getting when we're having lunch, dinner, sorry, in the new county. What we're doing now is I'm telling you stories around here <coughs> and then we go over to Blackfriars and I'll tell you some stories there and at the corner, on the corner of Black, uh, I think it's Longsmith Street, I'll tell you some stories about the prison. Then we go over to Poets Wine Bar it's very small in there, but they have got extra staff on to serve you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go upstairs into the lounge area where they've got some nice sofas, and you can have a little sit down while I tell you some more stories. And also, uh, a paranormal experience that I've encountered in that very room, and only about three or four weeks ago. And, and also, we've got some EVP that dear Paul has, uh, over there, my friend Paul, has put on CD for you to to let you hear what we heard that very night. And then from Poets Wine Bar, we're going down to the Dick Whittington, and I'm gonna tell you some more tales there. If anybody wants to go down into the Black Cat area and the ladies' toilets where I've told, we'll tell you the story of the apparition in there, then she's willing to let you if we have time. We then come back up Westgate Street with our ghetto blaster, <laughs> a little bit of the older whatever, and, uh, we then go down the 10th century medieval alley, which is Mercer's Alley. I'll tell you about that one. And then we come out from there, cross Keys Lane, and hopefully we will be at the new county for half eight, where we'll have our meal. Now, the apparition of a monk has been seen on regular basis walking through this cemetery. And when people watch him, he disappears through the walls of the church. Now, I've actually been in that church in the daytime because I'm a civic trust volunteer and I can honestly say I don't like staying in there on my own too long and that's in the daytime. A gentleman came in in the summer and he said he was an organist, he played the organ in the cathedral and he came one night here to practice only for about 20 minutes to half an hour, that's all he wanted and he wasn't more than 10 minutes playing on this organ and he said he felt like somebody was standing over him and he was absolutely terrified, and he just left the building. He told his fellow organists at the cathedral, and they all said the same thing, we will not go in that church on our own and play the organ. There's something about it. Now the other stories here are to do with the Rene, and there has been children heard singing and playing. There has been workmen here doing some work, and they've had a wheelbarrow thrown at them. They were terrified when they saw their electric shaver working and it wasn't even plugged in. So that frightened them. There has been noises, slams and bangs and glasses falling off the shelves. Underneath the basement, there is supposedly a monk that was buried there. And in just inside the entrance where you walk by the well, there was at one time, a skeleton underneath the floorboards there and they did have it open and have a glass top on top of it I believe but obviously it's all covered up now and there is another story of the landlord where he has heard horses and carriages all sounding like cobblestones right underneath his window there right along there when he's looked out this is two or three o'clock in the morning there's nobody there no